I had to put Harry and Meghan on an ability table, I think it wouldn't be wrong to rank them at rank F. It seems they have no talent or breakthrough efforts in any aspect. All they have is laziness, cruelty, and selfishness. But thanks to Harry's royal status, the Sussex family still has a high position in many organizations. And what is more dangerous than this? Letting incompetent people control large organizations certainly does not have good results. The charities that Harry represents are proving that. From Invictus Games to Archwell all are marked. Welcome back to the Royal News 365 channel, where all of your snarkiest dreams come true as I share my deepest, scariest thoughts about the dull Duchess and her handbag Harold. What's going on with Invictus Games? We've all seen the shit show the Harkles have turned their outing with Invictus into. Madame in her white, long johns, and later, her gardening gloves. And all the while, unable to keep her legs closed. I guess old habits die hard. The royal family started the games to give Harry something to do to keep him out of trouble. William even donated over a million pounds he won in damages from a newspaper at a time when the charity was struggling. Now it seems the royal family has washed their hands of the games. Sponsors are leaving and no one new wants to have anything to do with Invictus. People are getting fed up with Harry and Meghan using the games as their own private bank account and sponsors won't throw good money after bad. There's been a change in management, but the direction hasn't. They're still forking over huge sums to appease the appetite of the witch. She's persona non grata just about everywhere but Invictus. So what's going on? With no real royal backing, major sponsors don't want to know. Funds are drying up, yet the management seems determined to drive the games into the ground. Have they given up? Are we seeing the death throes of Invictus? Or do they feel the only way they can get rid of greedy leeches is to kill the host and start again without contamination? Sadly, they are being allowed to wreck this charity, which is such a really worthwhile cause. Can't understand how this has been denigrated to the Sussex funding charity. The Invictus Games should continue to go on forever. It's the two grifters that should be removed from them, especially the thing making another mockery of them. Megan couldn't care less about these people. Look at the videos of a couple of days ago in Canada. Puckering her lips, that famous pucker with disdain, not shaking hands, or genuinely interested in anything these brilliant people had to say, a disgusting, vile bitch. Well, they have been mooching around the indigenous people of Canada, pretending to be working alongside Charles, so I expect their wagon has become unhitched unexpectedly for them somewhere along the Invictus line. They are diversifying from their usual week a long stint of exploiting the disabled as a backdrop to Megan's fashion shoots to exploiting indigenous tribes as a background for Megan's fashion shoots. Of course, this does come hot on the heels of him exploiting his father's cancer as a backdrop to his selfless offer to return to fill in the gaps in the UK monarchy. I don't know what kind of royal duties he could do. The charities and places the royal family visits don't want to see him. Imagine the excitement of being told your group would be hosting a royal visit and then finding out it's hairy. Charities don't need people booing outside their doors. Do they remember the war, Miranda? Do they remember the war? There were 55 injured veterans and their caring families present at Whistler to promote the Invictus Games 2025. I cannot find mention of them anywhere, bar one competitor. I am not interested in whether Megan makes milkshakes or who makes her clothes. Harry is supposed to be the face of the games. I see, he didn't bang on about his war service and being an Apache pilot. Where are the heroes? Please make the games about people who have given their limbs or their mental fragility for our countries. Please do not make the games about clothing trivia. Please give the participants and their families their dignity and display gratitude for that which they have given to us. If you look at the pictures of the Sussex family in the Invictus Games event, you can see Megan always front and center. 
Look at Megan's eyes. See where she is looking? Her cameras? My point is before, at Katy Perry's concert, all these magazines said they sat with the listers. Yay, woo! -hoo. Good for you! But when I looked at the pictures, the duo was in an entirely different section with no one of significance around them. Guess that's the media's definition of next to. Same here. Harry is probably genuine, but Little Miss Muffet is spinning her web with fakery, self-serving tactics, and hamming it up to fool everyone that she is all about self-sacrifice. What we read, what they do, and the pictures that are taken could seriously manipulate their data. WME may control their narrative, but we aren't the stupids. The way she is always smiling for the camera goes back a long time. Definitely when she somehow managed to get into the royal family. She is now much more desperate than she ever was to get her mugshot taken. Whatever happened to her being partly Nigerian? Not a black pore on her face at Invictus. Charities don't need to be putting out all the money has no balls and memigan requests to just support a charity. Private jets, upscale accommodations, inappropriate clothes, cases of bronzer for the Z-list celebrity, etc. Her mouth resembles a duckbill. I don't understand why the Invictus Games let them trample all over their organization. We pretty much know about the Harry and Meghan grift. Why don't they? If Invictus Games die, which does not look good for them, I hope the individual countries will do something to assist the vets. Harry and Meghan are truly not needed as patrons. Everything that Markle touches ends up broken, and it looks as though the Invictus Games have been sadly marked. They need to be stopped from using the games as a cash cow. Harry and Meghan say they are humanitarians. Africa Park Ranger's crimes were under Harry's watch, as the president indicates he doesn't fulfill what a humanitarian mission is. Hasn't the time come to prove that they can walk the walk to the same level as they talk? In Harry's most recent interview, where he suggests his father's health issues might end the animosity he is solely responsible for, through slinging mud at his family in every forum available to him to date, he refers to Invictus Vets. He says he sees the power of family support every day in his interactions with them, or some British standards to that effect. If he's meeting with vets every day while attending movie premieres and Vegas events, it wouldn't leave much time for his African charity. Such a dedicated social warrior and son. The pair have been instructed to rebrand, distance themselves from controversy, and ham up their devotion to the royals and each other. It's all an attempt for monetary gain, popularity, and to become relevant again. If the royals don't accept him back with open arms after five minutes of him playing the prodigal son, he'll be crying victim in no time. There are two underlying motives here. Get back in the fold or have ammunition to further attack the royals. What has happened in Africa under Harry's watch doesn't fit their rebranding narrative. He won't walk the walk. He's running the run in the opposite direction. Why did Harry say to journalists, I am willing to take up a temporary royal role while the king is indisposed. Did his actress wife tell him to say this? Probably. Was he trying to cement his position as counselor of state? This is Harry, a man who has achieved nothing and who likes playing games. Harry fooled nobody, especially the royals. The family would have been disgusted to hear him say this. He said it purely to show the world that he was an important and experienced member of the royal family, but also that he was the only one who could take over the king's duties effectively and efficiently. Firstly, the royals don't want Harry to help out. Secondly, they can manage perfectly well without him. And thirdly, the royals are fully aware he only said this to reiterate to those in earshot that he is still very much a part of the royal family, which he isn't. Why does Harry feel there's a need to play games? Just a few weeks before the late queen died, Harry told the press, the queen enjoyed rolling on the carpet at Buckingham Palace with Archie. Of course she didn't do this. 
Her Majesty was canceling royal engagements right, left, and center because she was unsteady on her feet. Her greatest fear was being seen falling over in public. On several occasions, she was seen using a walking stick to get around, but she didn't like being seen holding one. The idea of an aging queen rolling on the carpet with Archie was ridiculous, but Harry said it and he expected the world to believe it. Since the first day he met Markle, she has convinced him that whatever you say, the public will believe. Relations, as we have seen, have well and truly broken down between the two brothers, and it was revealed later that William was incensed, and wanted the queen rolling on the lie exposed. Was he eventually advised to say nothing? Was he ordered to say nothing? When William was persuaded not to publicly annihilate his brother, there was no turning back. As we all know, it's now over between William and Harry. Is Harry aware that when his brother takes the top job, the gloves will be off and he will be toast? Harry is making it sound like he has knowledge that the king will be unable to perform his duties. The king may be able to continue his duties with minimal disruption. Now you know why they didn't want the idiot to come. Unbelievable. I think Harry was aiming to put the king on the spot, with a close friend letting slip that Harry will help his failing relatives out of a hole, despite their cruelty to him and his saintly wife. But it backfired massively as the palace played him at his own game and took the opportunity to clarify his real royal position which is out. Oh dear, so much for selling the royal connection now, Harry and also believable that only Harry can truly come down with this truly atrocious behavior. A traitor for all intents and purposes, bring back the Tower of London hangings specifically for Harry. The thirty minutes Charlie allotted him, after the three thousand mile dash, tells you exactly how important Harry is, and how much the big dash was appreciated. Zero. Harry deserves to be toast. He's so nasty and disloyal to the family who stood by him after so many disgusting and embarrassing episodes they saved him from. Instead of being grateful, he and his shrew trashed the royal family. He should be groveling on his knees for their forgiveness. His wife Megan thought it would be bright lights, big cameras when she married into the royal family. But the bright lights are attached to the monarchy. So when they messed up and did things that led to the exile, the bright lights stayed behind. The reality is that her popularity now is way lower. Wasted effort when you think about it. Harry and Meghan want to do a temporary royal. Of course, they can get some pictures at their website, and for money, when someone interviews them, they can have something say inside. They can say they have a connection with the royal. See it? My dad is sick, and I'm coming back to help him. I could hear Harry screaming so intensely. Illness lets people reunite. Harry, please tell your wife to see her father. Why she didn't do it, please don't say you love your family. Harry and Emma only love money and show off their highest possessions more than others. Your father is a king, and Harry and Meghan want to reunite because of money. Why do Harry and Meghan not want to reunite Meghan's father because of no money? They had a bad 2023 in the U.S. everything went wrong. Harry now wants to backtrack to revive their terrible reputation. They were called lazy grifters and then biggest losers. Yeah, Harry wants to suck up to their family to save Meghan's trash mouth and himself. Why not suck up to her? Father... He can't dish out money. They are a waste and fakes. He is a completely stupid twat. His brain is obviously completely drug-addled if he truly believes that after years of insults to members of his family, including his father's much-loved wife and his brother's much-loved wife, he could still return and carry out royal duties. What bloody planet is he on? What he needs is a dose of reality. Stripping of all his titles, line of succession, and his cabbage patch dolls. He and the creature he married should be Mr. and Mrs. Markle. 
there should be no legal means by which he could even contemplate being allowed back to perform royal duties if he is no longer royal in any way, shape, or form. I seriously think he is stoned all the time. He doesn't have the drive, does he? So he can be stoned all the time. He is not very smart to begin with, but when he is stoned, his answers to questions are so inadequate. Never let Harry back, he'll bring his recording devices and would turn on them if they didn't get their way. No, never! Too much hurt, a history of deception, deceit, dishonesty, lying, backstabbing, and wishing a family dead. Harry's never, ever to be trusted. So much betrayal, hurting the Queen Prince Philip as he lay dying, calling the King and Catherine Princess of Wales a racist I could go on and on. I despise Harry and his narcissistic, vile, vile wife. She would come back just to steal a tiara. She doesn't own one. She's just destructive and trouble. I just despise her. I think are both evil and wish harm to the royal family. Keep them away. Neither of them should ever step one foot in the UK ever again. I, too, despise the monster, Aka Meghan Markle. Is there anyone in history that is so devoid of humanity as Meghan Markle? The sheer hypocrisy that both of them spew forth is so unbelievably ridiculous that I don't understand how they get away with it. I get the never complain, never explain the concept, but these two are so outrageous that the palace must end this. If they don't take action, I'm afraid I can no longer continue to support the monarchy I have loved the whole of my life. I believe that complete loyalty and trust is a prerequisite for Prince Harry to perform any duty on behalf of the monarch. That privilege and trust were squandered, and I do not believe His Royal Highness will ever return any duty given to the brat. It appears that all senior working royals and adult royals of the House of Windsor, holding His Royal Highness or not, seem to not want their disloyal relative anywhere near them. Allegedly, possibly in a retort to rebuffing the depreciating brat, he put out in the media his desire to create a House of Sussex, using Sussex as a surname in the U.S. tacky. No one anywhere wants him, least of all the royal family. If Charles is unable to be king, William is ready to step up. With families such as Princess Anne, Sophie, and Edward, and others with close family ties, the monarch will do well. Like Charles, William has been trained to handle duties since the day he was born. I think within the extended royal family, Harry has caused so much anger that they would all do whatever they could to make sure he never returns to royal duties. He is so delusional. I also think that, God forbid, Charles would allow him to return, and the public would be marching in the streets. If he did come back to royal duties, which is extremely unlikely, what could he do to help? Send him to open something, and he would most likely be booked. No charity would want him, as he would have a detrimental effect on fundraising. How dare he speak to Canada's First Nations National Chief! I can see Canadians are saying, Stay away from Canada. He just is the ginger-haired brother of William, the next king. He doesn't make any promises over here in Canada to anyone. But he cannot understand that. He has been discredited by the palace as a non-working royal role palace stands firm. Just who the hell does this idiot think he is? What the hell is he doing holding talks and promising to make sure promises are kept? He is nothing. He doesn't represent the royal family or the monarchy. He is not a representative of the Canadian government. He is getting too big for his boots. Maybe this is the strategy adopted by the Duchess of Sioux Sex and her Prince Mentor is to discredit the power of the crown as much as possible. For more than five years she has been trashing the thousand-year-old institution on all fronts, and she does not is never calls her and her Prince Mentor to order because, in the end, he is the main partner. For the average citizen, 
sometimes comments on social networks damaging to an institution can cost you dearly such as legal proceedings, etc. She says it is permissible to attack his late MSD with such baseness and such arrogance, without having an ounce of regret, and it still rages, until when will they allow it? To trash them? Her goal is achieved in her wildest dreams she would never have had to adorn herself with luxury jewelry and dress in top brand clothes or strut around in armored cars to benefit from security, be served, and have personal or approach elites, dignitaries, and crowned heads, in my humble opinion. There is a weakness emanating from the family of this prince too bad. Finally, like everyone else, I hope Harry and Meghan stop and leave positions they cannot take. If they want to have prestige in high positions, sit around and take advantage of it without doing anything to contribute or develop those organizations, then sorry, this world does not work like that. They are taming the noble meaning of charity funds, but not surprisingly, they also dare to tarnish the reputation of the royal family. So these things are not a big problem for them. I don't know who will end this nonsense, but I will accompany you to witness it. That brings us to the end of my video. Hope you agree with my point of view. If not, please comment so we can discuss. Don't forget to like and share the video so YouTube can recommend similar videos. And if you want to receive notifications about the latest videos, please subscribe. We will be back soon. Thank you for watching and goodbye.